And then I bought a house, bro, with like a three foot crawl space where it could not have been any ba- any deeper than this. And bro, me and my cousin dug out a whole basement by hand with shovels and pickaxes because we couldn't use jackhammer because of like, we weren't filing like lice, like we weren't like- You dug out the whole getting basement. Getting permits for it. We dug out, first we dug out a little, uh, a little front spot oh. and we put like four or six lights in there. And did a like a run or two, bro. The first thing we got clones of Hindu Kush and Purple Kush from SR seventy one. It was like a clone place in downtown Oakland. So like that was the first couple runs we did, and then we got a hold of this uh, Kush cut. It was just marked a uh, Kush. And then some family members got it in like 1998. So I just called it like 98 Kush or vintage 98. And like that's back before up there, we really knew what OG was. It was just labeled Kush. And when you say a crawl space, though, you mean like non-air conditioned space oh, bro, underneath I mean like, the house. I mean like a three foot f- yeah. gap underneath the house. This is like, I need people to understand like this is yeah. making it work. Yeah. So like what we did too is like we didn't do it with, with permits. So during the week. We would pickaxe and shovel. And bro, once you got like one foot down in Oakland, it's all clay. So then you're all pickaxe. <laughs> bro. So we would like pickaxe all week and then put all the dirt in the towards the front. And then on the weekends, we'd take the dirt out when the city inspectors weren't driving around. Wow, dude. We want to talk about motivated stoners right there. <laughs> Bro, literally building a basement with a shovel and a pickaxe, like digging Bro, out the basement. All day long, all day, every day. How long did it take? Just for the first spot, like, like a month. And then after that, we dug out the entire basement and then we threw a 16 lighter in there. Hell and yeah. Bro, we thought at our age, bro, we thought like we was like kingpins. Like we, we were killing it now. Like, oh, we got a whole 16 lighter. Like we're good for life. Yeah. Wow, bro. But we dug it took us like months to dig out that 16 lighter. Months, maybe three months. And then we had to pour concrete like on our own on the weekends, like when there was no city inspectors driving around. Bro, that like doing the rebar and pouring cement down in like a it was rough. <laughs> See, and you think you're getting but into had, growing, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm gonna get into growing. And then it's like manual labor. You're like elect- electrical digging ditches yeah. i mean all the shit that you went you were hoping not to do getting out of school well, i mean it was good because we all have construction backgrounds bro like i started working in construction like summertime seventh grade two in the summers like roofing fucking like carpentry work so like we had construction background like we could do it all ourselves they make the best growers a yeah. handyman you know guys that yeah. are like that yeah like sixth grade was my last summer like of no work and then seventh grade summers like i was like during the summers every summer i work yeah damn bro so you and your cousin pop some seeds and where's it going now are we putting some like you you got the 16 it goes eight lights and 16 is that the first grow was underneath that house yeah holy shit my first house like i bought i saved up and bought that house like that's what I did with all my money that I made when I was young. I put it into that house. Damn, I got bro. it during the you know the financial crisis, the subprime mortgage crisis, and like I had hella cash. So like, and back then Oakland houses were going for like a hundred bands, hundred maybe a hundred fifty in like in a nicer spot. Now you can't get shit for like ha- like less than like a half a mil, six hundred thousand. Yeah, there's like a lot of gentrification now. But back then, bro, it was like you fifty, hundred thousand dollar houses all day long. And how are you learning how to grow? Are you like how are you even learning like any parts of it? Are you, you just reading online? Are you got? Yeah, any- that's why I told you. Like I was on the forums, hella heavy. I see Mag THC Farmer. Like I had a profile there. I was like scared to post pictures, but I would like you know talk about different methods. Like I was on there pretty heavy, and like that's where I kind of got my baseline for growing is on there. You probably ran into every single problem a grower can run into under there that first time. Like, I mean, just having an exposed grow plus lights underneath yeah, the back house. Then it was like, that's for hard, sure. Back man. then it was in and out vents, bro. Like mm-hmm. everyone rocking in and out vents. And like, I was one of the first people I knew that's, that sealed, sealed the rooms. Yeah. Cause I was watching some videos from Canada 
And a lot of those dudes were sealing their rooms. And I was like, bro, fuck it. I'm going a, I'm to a try that tech down here. Because everyone was running in and out vents. And then once like I sealed the rooms, it was over, bro. That was the, the biggest game changer right there. Yeah. Because, you mean, know, in and out vents, bro, no you're more sucking PM. in. Yeah, yeah. Not just that, but like. During the winter time, it's cold, damp air. Like you're never sucking in ideal, ideal air. I can't imagine like pickaxing and shoveling no. that out. Like you're talking like, because I've been, I've seen underground work and how it goes. Like there's like layers of, <laughs> you know, the earth basically, and it's like you're going down deep in there. So how how tall did it end up being? We dug it out to eight and a half foot ceilings. Oh my from god, three feet. And how and how big was the the room oh, like because 16 lights is 35 feet wide by like full basement 60 long 50 60 long something like that full basement build oh, out yeah, whole basement. done by hand and then the house realize. that it was under was paid for by the homie himself too but that was the tough part bro that i was nervous about but my cousin was doing all like the support work i was like bro like i don't want to dig this shit out and the house collapses on us <laughs> You, oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, for real. He, he R.I.P. He died at the grow underneath the house. Yeah, you did. know what I'm saying? The thing collapsed on him. Sixteen uh, lights, bro. Died in the house collapse. <laughs> Digging out a sixteen lighter. Holy <laughs> fuck, bro. Yo, that's crazy. That is a crazy story. Yeah, that's a that's. But probably we had the, someone like we had one of our friends that was a little older, like a contractor, showing us. They showed us how to support the the house while we were digging. Yeah, so shout out him, or else we might not be here today. <laughs> you got the craziest first grow of anybody so far on the show. Real talk. Hands yo. down, big dog. Just so you know. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even close. Hey, if you like that video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. First smoke of the day clips.